Hey, it's Chris Atticus. We are live at the Wizard World Nashville Comic Con 2014, and I'm sitting here with Jenna Bush. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And you are definitely known for, I, I guess you could, you could sum it up with the word, and I don't take this the wrong way, okay. but you could sum it up with the word geek, maybe. I would say that that is pretty good. That's a pretty good description of me, <laughs> geek. <laughs> All right, so you are the host of Cocktails with Stanley. Yes, I did that with him for about a year, um, and we would each week we would have celebrities on, and Stan and I would interview them together. And you know, I'm sure you get asked this all the time, but you know, what is Stan Lee like off screen, just as you know, one on one time? He is the coolest man I have ever met in my life, honestly. Um, the man has more energy than I do. Um, when he got his pacemaker, I said, "Oh, are you all right?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'm Tony Stark." <laughs> I mean, the man is incredible. He is so much energy. Yeah. He looks like he's a lot of fun. He looks like he's very funny outside. And, you know, you see him in all these cameos of each one of the Marvel movies. It's like, I want to hang out with that guy. Oh, yeah. No, he is really, really fun. I got some great stories while they were setting up lighting and yeah. sound and everything. And so cool. All right. So what what is it that, that you're up to now these days? Oh, wow. A lot of stuff. Okay. So um, I do a show called Most Craved every week. Um, it goes up on comingsoon.net, um, Crave Online, and Superhero Hype. Um, we talk about all kinds of geek news, video games, comics, movies, TV. Um, I have a Doctor Who show for the Young Turks on their network for What the Flick. Awesome. I did awesome. not say a bad word. It's Flick. <laughs> um, I'm writing for a bunch of sites, including Kids World, but I'm also writing for a site that I just started myself that I'm really proud of, and it's called Legion of Leia. Okay. And you, we are on all the social medias. Um, but it's, it's legionofleia.wordpress.com, and it was started in response to the Star Wars casting, the original Star Wars casting, where they talked about one new woman. Now that's since changed, which is wonderful, and I'm really excited oh, yeah. about it. But um, I wanted to support and promote women in sci-fi. I wanted to, this happened because a little girl came up to me when I was part of a comic anthology called Womanthology, and it was all women, and little tiny girl pulled on my leg, and she said, are you in this book? And I said, yeah, and she's like, can I hug you? Oh, that's awesome. And I'm trying not to sob, but um, she said she didn't know that little girls did this. She didn't know that girls were in comics. This was only a few years ago. And I want my niece to have strong women to look up to. And not just strong, like, kick-ass, like, guys with boobs kind of thing. I want there to be well-rounded characters, and I want people to know that women do this, that we write, that we act, that we do all of it. Absolutely. And, and I think that you, you have actually kind of started to see that coming around in some of these sci-fi movies, where it's not all about just image and and there for any sexuality. It's, it's you know, I hate to even say, because it sounds so old school, but taken serious. Is that... No, it's, a, it's important now. There's been a lot of backlash lately with Gamergate, um, with the 4chan, or maybe not oh, yeah. 4chan thing with Emma Watson, with um, Zoe Quinn, with Anita Sarkeesian, who is absolutely amazing, and just even posting stories about this. I'm getting threats. Wow. So, I mean, wow. there's been a really strong backlash against women, especially in the geek world lately. So I think it's something we have to take seriously. Absolutely. I'm with you. And that is Legion of Leia? Legion of Leia, like Princess Leia. Gotcha. Okay, cool. All right. Now, this might be a tough question because, you know, a lot of people say it's like, you know, you can't choose your favorite kid. What is probably the, the, the your most favorite thing that you have worked on with all of the projects that you have under your belt? Oh, I think it's Cocktails with Stan. Yeah, I mean, first of all, when Stan Lee, when someone says, do you want to do something with Stan Lee, you jump up and down and offer to do it for free. Um, I, no, no, don't tell them I said that. Um, but no, I think that's got to be my favorite. I, just to get a chance to not just meet him, but to hang out with him. Yeah. And he asked me to sign my comic book for him. Oh, wow, I'm, I'll no never, I can live to be 110 and I will never be over that. Yeah, what an honor. What an honor so for cool. sure. Uh, and, and real quick, let me ask you this. What was it that got you into the sci-fi comic world? What was it that stands out in your mind? Um, when I was a little kid, I was always into Star Wars. I mean, Star. I have a Boba Fett helmet and a lightsaber in my trunk all the time. And I wish I were kidding, but I'm not. <laughs> um, but the thing that really did it was Storm. In yep. the X-Men comics, um, and I, and this is a really silly thing, but I wanted to be Storm because I wanted a snow day and we hadn't had any that year. <laughs> and I figured if I was Storm, I could probably cause one. Yep. Didn't occur to me that if I was Storm, I probably wouldn't need to cause one, but whatever. <laughs> That was my way in. That's pretty cool. It's pretty good. It's a great way. The imagination is a very powerful and awesome thing. Uh, are you here all weekend at Comic Con? I am. I'm signing um, over by Michael Trucco and Jamie Bam uh, Bamber from Battlestar Galactica. I'm doing a panel with them tomorrow night. I'm doing a women in media panel with Janet Lee, who won the Eisner for Dapper Men, and Sherilyn Kenyon. And I'm doing the Charmed panel um, on Sunday. That's great. You're busy, busy, busy. 
I like being busy. Who needs sleep? <laughs> well, if you find some time to explore Nashville, go out there and have a good time. It's a beautiful city. Absolutely. I, last time I was here 17 years ago, I got to sing at the Grand Ole Opry. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, we could go on and on with this interview. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot more questions. Uh, Jenna Bush, thank you so much for stopping by and talking with us. Thanks for having me.